There are so many ways that you can do things on your FortiGate. There's no one method. So let's look at the following scenario. We have our local area network and we have one device that we wish to block. Let's do it using the command line. All right, so there it is. We have our LAN interface, which is at the 10.0.5.1, and we have our WAN interface. Now, the basic policy is full access. Everyone on that LAN can get out to the internet, but we wish to block a specific device. So the following is needed. Let's move to our command line. Let's configure system interface. Let's edit the interface that is the LAN interface and let's set device identification to enable. All right. So now your FortiGate will recognize devices by their MAC address, by their user agent and other different methods. All right, let's end it. So the next thing to do is to use the DAG user device list. And here we can see the different devices that were recognized using that interface. All right, so now let's move and block the Samsung device. So the next thing we will do, we will copy its MAC address and we will configure a firewall address object. Let's edit that object. Let's name it Samsung and let's set the type to Mac and let's set the um, start Mac to the um, Mac address that we have copied and let's set the end Mac to the same Mac address and let's end it. Now let's move to our policy firewall policy let's create a new deny policy for that specific device let's name it block samsung and the incoming interface is our lan the outgoing is our when the source is our samsung device that we have just created destination is all service is all and that's a deny policy okay the last thing that we will need to make sure is that the block Samsung policy is above our full access policy. Otherwise, the traffic will be allowed.